Welcome back to our Bluesy Water channel. Today we're going to talk about vibration therapy and various holistic protocols that you can synergize with vibration therapy. We've done many topics on emotional release, consciousness work, healing deep memories stored in the body, and vibration therapy is a add-on tool for those of you doing any type of emotional release work. We're going to talk about a work called Somatic Experience, the Emotion Code, and why I use this vibration therapy. First, let's talk about the body for a second. Whenever we store traumas in the body, they get really stuck and very, are very difficult to move. I do body work, and basically it is a process of releasing, in, in simplicity, very deep stored patterns of memory and trauma. And it's quite challenging. Anyone doing body work knows how difficult it is just to get things to let go. So there's a work called Somatic Experience, which basically refers to what happens to animals when they're traumatized. And in, in particular, there's three mechanisms. There's fighting, fleeing, or what's called freeze. The, the gentleman's name who's developed this work is called Peter Levine. You can Google his work, Somatic Experience, Peter Levine. But in a nutshell, Humans experience freeze on a day-to-day -day basis. A large part of this is due to the fact that the body wants to respond in a very natural releasing mechanism, but it's suppressed by a lot of social morales. You know, don't you know? Morality has a huge part in, in human behavior. The body is wanting to express. People are telling you you're good, you're bad, shame, judgment, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So. At the end of the day, when animals are under attack or perceive it, when they freeze, there's a mechanism they go through to come out of freeze. And according to Peter Levine, if they don't go through this mechanism, they can pretty much die. And basically, it's a kind of violent, shaking ritual they go through. And if you think about it, when an animal is under attack, their energy system is extremely charged. So if you're fighting, you're expelling the energy. If you're running, you're expelling the energy. But if you're freezing, the energy's still like this, but you're actually containing it, you're suppressing it. And that's what humans do, essentially. They have a tremendous amount of energy that's wanting to express and move, but they literally freeze that expression. So what the vibration therapy does is it mimics that violent shaking ritual that animals go through to release trauma. So it's a great add-on tool anytime you're trying to access very deep, memories that have frozen in your body. So if you're doing emotion code work, which we talk about a lot in our various videos, if you hit upon a memory and you, you've done a sweeping and a cleaning of that memory, you can get on the vibration machine for a few minutes after you, if, especially if it's a very powerful memory, and do a few minutes of vibration therapy to further sweep and access that buried, buried, tra traumatized memory. At the, at the bottom line is, as you do this practice, you're literally, you're not going to know where the memories are coming from. You never know quite the source. You know, you locate it, you, you, you tap in with the emotion code, but there are really quantum unknowns, and at the end of the day, if you can release the memory in the body, the frozen memory, this is a great add-on for that work. If you're doing somatic experience work, same thing. Try using vibration therapy along with whatever other therapies you're using to literally do that violent shaking ritual to, re to remove the trauma. Thank you. Uh, we're going to put several additional videos out on vibration therapy, and please uh, look up those videos. Thank you.